Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get there. Oh my god, that's so loud. That is so loud. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the day we are finally starting the black car again. It's been so long. As you guys know, this car has been down since I think October. And yeah, even in October, it was only alive pretty much for one pass. We had to pull the engine out because we had a lot of problems. We got a temporary Coyote engine built. I can't tell you guys anything because it is supposed to be a secret, but just take my word for it. There is some crazy, crazy stuff coming for this car. Like after we get it started, which hopefully shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, we're going to be able to attach our new shocks to the front, which we're actually finally ditching the stock shocks and going to this super, super sick Viking front coilover. I have had these things now for probably about four or five months and I haven't gotten to do them yet because the car has just been down that long. So finally, today is the day. Hopefully we'll get these things in there. Check these out. So these are Vikings new front coilover shocks for these cars. These are actually double adjustable for compression and rebound, which is really nice. We've got double adjustable rears from Viking, but we have not had anything on the front. Front. So we've just been running the stock performance pack shocks, which they do well, but uh, we're taking this car pretty serious now, especially once, like I said, you guys find out the news that we're doing about the engine that's going in the car and uh, yeah, a few different goodies. We are completely changing directions on this car, which honestly, I feel like it's fitting. We've had this car pretty much at the same similar setup now for a year and a half, two years almost. So I feel like it's time to change it up. And I think this is appropriate. I think we're going to do something pretty wild to say the least. So about a quarter inch preload on these and they have. Uh, these are actually really cute, like really neat. They have roller bearings inside of two washers, so the spring actually spins freely. Oh, nice. Even though it has preload on it. Anyways, like I said, the car is pretty much at the point where we're getting ready to start it up. Maybe uh, later on we can take it around the block, but I really don't want to drive it at night. On the first drive, I want to be able to see if anything's leaking, stuff like that, so we'll probably leave it in the shop. But if everything goes as planned, though, next video we'll be able to take it on the first drive around town, which is going to be sick. So check it out. We got temporary oil for break-in stuff. As you guys know, we've gone over this so many times. You just need conventional oil. So uh, I've also got this Lucas zinc additive, which is nice for break-in stuff because the zinc helps protect everything on the inside of the engine during break-in. Obviously, we're not doing anything crazy with the car. We're just going to be running it, letting it idle, you know, heat cycle it a few times. And then right here, we've got some Royal Purple. It's called Purple Ice. I heard that this stuff does amazing. So we're going to try it out. Uh, basically, I don't run any coolant in this car. This is essentially at this point a race car. And if anything, such as like a supercharger belt snap, I don't want it to cut through this hose and throw coolant all over the track. So so I run distilled water in the car, uh, which is great because as soon as a leak or something like that happens on the track, it just evaporates and they go dry it and you're good. We don't need that right now anyways. We'll add coolant later. I haven't been in this car in like at least probably four months. I haven't even sat in it. <laughs> I'm smaller now than I was then. <laughs> I used to be chunky, man. Oh, shit. Hang on. Off. Off. You just pumped all your water out. Huh? You just pumped all your water out. Oh. <laughs> is that not what these fuses are? No, those are for the uh <laughs> my bad. Those are for the uh the fans on the um, wow. heat exchanger. Damn. Yeah, I was about to say back here there is a fuse, I believe, on the pump. Look, it almost emptied the whole tank in like three seconds. Alright, let's see if we can drop a tune on here. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Give me a moment. Doug, can I borrow your Windows computer? I think one of the main reasons too why I'm nervous about this, me and Doug were just now talking about, is the fact that this car has a basically a Frankenstein engine in it now. What I mean by that is that we've got a Gen 2 short block, which is from the 15 to 17 Mustangs, uh, that has been built, and then we've paired it to a Gen 1 head setup. So we've got Gen 1 heads off of like an 11 to 14 model. Then to top it off even better, we threw uh, Gen 2 cams in there out of the 15 to 17s and a Gen 2 timing set. So it's the majority gen 2 stuff except for it does have gen 1 heads it should work this is just like a really uncharted territory honestly <laughs> not many people have ventured down this path so this should be uh this should be interesting hopefully everything works if not then i guess i'll know that we have pioneered something and we learned that it doesn't work <laughs> let's see if she's gonna turn over we're gonna prime it up so clutch down gas down <laughs> that sounds deep, son. You know why? Headers. Yeah. yeah, open header, baby. Give me a second. Let me tell Daniel to go over here so he can video. Daniel! Daniel! Darnell! 
<laughs> what is in the bathroom? Open headers. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. That sounds. Yep. <laughs> I forgot how this car sounds. Lord, I know I named this car Satan. Please forgive me. <laughs> I promise I did not mean it in the negative way that it has come across to so many people. Please let our Frankenstein engine work. Woo. Woo. You got the injectors plugged in? And it didn't want to start. Did you wire up the uh, the two-step stuff? Did you ever take the, uh, the center console out? Because remember that little plug inside the center console? We got fuel pressure. You do have spark plugs in it, right? You put new 65 10s? Mm -hmm. What would cut ignition? Potentially it did pop it. No, yesterday. I don't think it's fused. It goes directly into the harness back here on the back of the uh, engine harness. Let me give it another shot just for shits and giggles, just because I'm curious. Cranking time exceeded. Are you serious? <laughs> Shouldn't have named it Satan. <laughs> Let me check something real quick. Daniel, Yeah. on this watt box, you used to have one too. Whenever you turn the ignition on, isn't that blue light supposed to come on with the yeah. ignition? It's not coming on. So the watt box isn't getting power, so that's why you're not getting spark. Dude, I'm wondering if that might have popped a fuse somewhere. Looky here. So we found a fuse that is blown, 15 amp, uh, and we traced it back to 44, and 44 on here is vehicle power four. Is it actually blown? Yep, popped like hell. Woo-wee! I think that might be it. All right, okay. let's it see. Happens. Shouldn't have any power with the ignition off. The watt box is on? Yep, you got blue Ooh. light. Blue means go. Let's go. Fire oh light. yeah, lights on. Woo, give me some. I don't know why I'm excited because it hadn't started yet, but. One little fuse can keep a whole engine from doing brat brat. Doing brat brat, yep. All right. Uh, go ahead and prime it two more times since we kind of had it. Sitting for a second. Clutch down, gas down. <laughs> Here we go. It's gonna do it this time. I'm scared. What right. are you scared I got for? 50 amps, prime it one more time, and then we'll go for a start. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's progress. Try to. Let's go do it. Starting time exceeded. Oh, shut up. <laughs> It's pumping out of my chest like I'm on coke. Or oh, you, yo, now you're excited for it? Oh, All right, yeah. <laughs> try it again. They're trying to get on. God, oh. that is loud. Come on. Woo! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get there. Oh my God, that's so loud. That is so loud. Huh? Does it not want to stay running? This car does that, I swear. It does. Just trust me. I can, I'll second that. I know my car. That's just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, whose Fox body is that? Yeah. <laughs> This thing is loud. It is real loud. I'm sure they know. They were next to me. Yeah. Let me check codes real quick and make sure we don't have anything. Yep, we got we got codes, so I'm gonna clear them. What were the codes? Low voltage stuff. Here we go. You want me to try to hold that thing on the back of the head? See? It'll go this time. I got faith. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Give it a break. At least we know it's gonna yeah. run. We just gotta figure out how to keep it running. <laughs> it's like it fires over and then it just doesn't stay running. Let me try and prime it real quick. Just to throw the fuel out if it is. I think it might be fuel felt. I was trying to start it with the uh, ignition off, throwing fuel in the cylinders. Yep, now it's getting better. All right, we are starting this one. What the hell was that? 
E85 is fun. It'll keep your cylinders nice and clean. You can just wash them out by not having any spark in your cylinders. This is so horrible. Hey, it's progress. <laughs> Start. It's progress. Start. I'm being patient with you now. Hey, man, it's been a while. If you slept for this long, you wouldn't want to get out of bed either. Well, she needs to come back from retirement, son. We're out here. We got to set some records. We got to go real fast. Negative. Party time. God, Doug's car was running. <laughs> yeah, uh, Satan's bag. Runs smooth. I think literally all that it needed was just to charge. Yeah, uh, enough charge. Running. I don't think it, that had enough voltage to keep it running. Yeah, it's loud. It is loud. Very loud. Literally Very loud. was shaking things on the desks in there. Yeah, it's real loud. It's pretty great, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it just now hit me that like it's about to be running again because I've like completely forgot about it for so long. And GT350 has like stole my heart for the last few months and then we just start this thing up and it's like hey, oh, oh yeah that's why that's why I didn't start up it's like oh you got that other f why would I want to start up for your ass <laughs> well guys there we have it we finally got a first start out of the car unfortunately though we're probably gonna have to wrap it up because it took a lot longer to diagnose the problems we were trying all kinds of stuff we literally even tried thinking that maybe it was like because I took the sub out that it wouldn't start I swear Doug was like there's no way but look the reason why I said that is because there's a time beforehand whenever I was trying to get the car back started after I did a few things to it and it turns out that if you have the cup holder lights disconnected out of the center console the car will not start Basically, Basically what our plan is from this point is tomorrow, since it's a little bit late, we're gonna go put in the radiator, the coilovers, drive shaft, exhaust. Uh, I gotta go pick up some distilled water to put in the radiator and uh, we'll go ahead and put the front wheels and brakes and suspension, put everything together. And we should be able to take it for its first drive. So hopefully next video, which will be tomorrow if everything goes well, connect everything, hook it all up and then take it for a first drive. So basically this engine, like I told you guys from the beginning is going to be a temporary engine. We're just gonna have this engine in here. We're gonna have the supercharger on it. We're gonna have everything thing set up again just like it was previously except for we're gonna have a built engine in it so we're gonna be able to beat the hell out of it hopefully with no issues until we get everything finished up to completely change directions with this car and uh, a lot of you guys have been waiting on a change with the car for a while this one is not the direction that I expected to go with the car by any means no I'm not auto swapping it it's staying a manual but I will say that I wanted to go fast with the car but I didn't want to I didn't know that I was gonna end up getting myself into going that fast with the car. And that's all I'm going to say. So the engine and everything is going to be in this car at least for like a month or two. So I can at least get some runs with it, get the engine broken in and everything. Cause we have plans for that engine once it comes out. And I can't really tell you guys what the plans are, but I will say, let me go over here right quick. This, uh, <laughs> yeah, that is going to go paired up to the engine that is going to come out of the car that we just got first started once we get it broken in. This is what's going to be paired to it instead of the supercharger very soon. And then once we get the new engine that we're getting for the black car, we've got an entire new setup that we're going to show you guys. I know that we didn't really do too much in this video other than start the car and give you guys a little bit of an update, but uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing a lot of stuff on the thing. So that's going to be exciting. A little more boring than others around here. That's okay. Huh? So some days are a little more boring than others. But that's okay. Still boring? I don't know if boring is the word. Well, maybe to them, because it's a simple video. That's exciting to me. But yeah, I was about to say, well, it can't be boring. We just started like a whole straight up drag car <laughs> for the first time in forever. It's not boring, but not boring. yeah, I'll say that some days have a little bit more hangups than others. Um, and this is a prime scenario where we had to do a lot of diagnosing to figure out something so simple. Anyways, guys, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. It is back. It is running. It is alive. Stay tuned. We're going to have a video up installing the radiator, uh, suspension, drive shaft axles, and then we'll be able to take it for a first drive tomorrow if everything goes smooth. So cross your fingers, wish me good luck, and I will see you guys next video.